Hello everyone, Shannon here. Now, this episode I have a lot of explaining to you. Now, we're gonna fight the Baroth today. The, as you can see, the quest has already been done. Problem is, uh, second time th this has happened where I record an episode, but uh, something goes wrong. In the, la la the other episode, this happened was when I was fighting. Oh, wait, let me just. Okay, I already have the net and the pickaxe was the Rayfellows episode where I, I misclicked the the whole start, pause, stop buttons. This time I recorded the episode till the end but forgot to save it. I mean just how stupid am I. Now, Finland Explorer! We get to explore a secret area in this map. You should all know about this right now. Kind of the cool things here. Now there are usually bugs here. Or I don't know, bugs. Okay, this was lame. Stupidly lame. What did I get? One carbolite ore. Not worth it. Didn't even see which, what effect it gave. What was this up? That's just completely useless. I just did it because it had the two star chance of getting full line explorer. Now, since this is this is the second time I'll be fighting this guy, it has been a while since I posted my last episode. Uh, thing is, it's the start of the new school year and all, and just getting things ready. Plus the episode that didn't get saved, recorded it about two days ago. No free, or was it free? I don't even know about. I don't even know anymore. Uh, but anyway, now my episodes will be posted just twice a week on Wednesdays and Saturdays because I just happen to have a good schedule for those days that's just it now my voice is sounding a bit strange no idea why uh, let's go fight this guy he's already swimming in the mud there, there he is now hope my cats are ready so let's go fighting this guy hi let me just spam a couple of these Two rewards. And a big one. Uh, the other one I... I'll say this one's a silver crown, but the other one I did was a golden crown. Okay, this one might, might actually be the same size. The quests are crown quests. I mean, there are specific quests where monster sizes will be bigger than usual. Still, it's only a bigger chance and will be the only ones where it's possible to get a cold crown. This this so happens might be, might be one of those cases because this guy is so big it's almost impossible for me to aim at his tail which is where I usually aim when using the switch axe or any other kind of melee weapon against this guy. Want to have the tail cut. Now with this guy so big there's just no chance. No way he's gonna get, let me get. Okay, big fail. Okay, let's get away from that. Now, as for my skills, forget about the drink skills. They're just useless. Even even the speed feeling grinder already have speed sharpening, and all the other skills I have around here. Okay, <laughs> I'm just glad I, for some reason, decided to do the jump. I should, really should focus on fighting. Now, fighting this guy in the melee style, uh, in the other episodes, where I finally this about the first, fourth, you know, the low level Baroth, I decided to show you how easy it is to kill this guy with a uh, Bogan. Yeah, Bogan. Um, truth is, it is a lot easier to kill this guy with a bogan. I just didn't want to do it again. So I decided to go with a little extra challenge and use some kind of melee weapon. But then I, I was going to decide what kind of weapon should I bring? When in doubt, bring your strongest. Fail. That wasn't so bad. So just grab my strongest overpowered, not sure how I obtained it, switch X and let's go find a Baroth. Ah, also, no, I'm not going to spoil that for you, the next episode. Uh, I accidentally spoiled it when I recorded the first attempt at this episode. 
It was just while well, I was looking that I found out about it. But anyway, part, part, next episode I have a surprise for you guys. Hi. So it'll, it'll be Wednesdays we'll have an episode on Monster Hunter and Saturdays on God Eater's Burst. Gotcha. Yes. Nope. Whoa! If I had a, if I had evade plus two, I probably would have evaded that. Evade plus one doesn't really bring much of a difference. It's evade plus two that does all the the work. <laughs> Let's start sharpening my weapon. <laughs> okay, not so good timing for it. Still managed to pull it off. Now's a good chance, at least until some mud falls on me. Here we go, here's the mud. Another near miss. Man, I'm being lucky today. Ouch, I really hate that tail. Ah, I just remember something about this guy's spin. Uh, he did eight in a row. And by it, I mean 360, 720, 1440 degrees. Yes, he did those all in a row. So, so awesome. I wish that episode had been recorded. Mm -hmm. Now I have to do this again. Oh, by the way, here's a spoiler. Somewhere in this map, there's a, a great Chag. Actually, that's not so much of a spoiler. In high level quests, those guys appear randomly. They can appear, they cannot appear. Anyway, got my dung bombs! Most important item when going on a high level quest. Just to make sure you can focus on the guy right in front of you. Or right behind you. Or right beside you. Okay, jump to the wrong side. Bears are just no fun. I don't like fighting them. They're just so rampagey. I do remember this one time where I fought this guy in Mount Hunter 3 and it was the mission which was this guy in the crop cove simultaneously and I, I chose my bowgun. This is the way I like to fight this guy. And while I was waiting for the guy, I didn't notice his pick. Then when we showed up, what was my surprise when he had a bogan as well? So we ended up finding a barrel in a crop co both using bogan. That went awesome, really. We're just focusing on one of them. We'll always get one for each other, and we'd beacon whenever the guy was targeting the other one. So got hit a couple of times. He fainted once, I think. But it was still awesome, very awesome. We kind of combined all, all our elementals, so we were like, okay, let, now let's paralyze the barrel. Then we were like, after we got rid of the crop, we were saying, let's put that barrel to sleep and supply the rest of the materials. Just saying that finding this guy with a bogan, it's just so easy. There's just no chance you can hit you with these overruns. They're just so easy to evade. But this thing down here in Melee it just moves around too much. I don't think I'm finding Melee. I love finding Melee style, especially when I when I use my gun lens or my long sword and my switch axe, my favorite weapons. But some guys I just I feel repulsed by finding them in with melee instead of ranged. Uh, the opposite also happens. I cannot think of finding a, a Narga Kuga, a Jinoga or a Ber a Beria by that matter with a bogan. That's just like, what? Then again, whoever, who wants to fight a barrier for an Arga when you have a gun lens? So the gun says it isn't an option either. Can't break this, I think. Okay, he can't break it. Yes, I'm safe right, right here. Now let's get back into the fighting. This guy's so much easier when he no longer has any mud on him. And here's a spoiler. Okay, you go away. Ah, should just make sure. Last time I had feline dung master, so I would 
I have 100% chance of him running away. Now, no, not I'm really sure what's the chance of him running away. I just really want him to go away. Oh, come on. That's just so unfair. I need to steal swings. And why am I taking potions when I can just go to sleep? Yes, yes, people don't like sleeping in the old quests. Come on. Uh, so predictable. Now, when fighting this guy with melee, you have three options. Number one. Okay, no. Actually, you have three options after you take care of option number four. Let's call it number four. Option number four is hit wherever he has mud on him. Because my weapon is water elemented, the bear is weak to water whenever, wherever there's mud. However, when he no longer has mud, he's weakest to fire. After you get rid of all the muds, you can aim for his legs, his tail, or his head. Uh, his head is a very bad idea unless you have ESP. Uh, the switch X in, in sword modes has ESP, so you can aim for his head as much as you want. It won't ba bounce back. Other than that, you should bring blue sharpness with a hammer or a yellow or above or any other kind of weapon if you're trying to aim for the face. Although having the full charges on dual swords or switch axes or long swords might change that. Uh, the third option is aiming for his legs. Or I think I mean already said it. Anyway, aiming for his legs is an excellent, excellent option because he'll end up falling. And when he falls, which was ha what happened before, you can e easily aim for his tail, even when it's a big one. Aiming for his tail and trying to cut it off, said as well, it's kind of hard. You, you ha want to keep him away from the mud area, where he can get all his mud again. All, this is, all the other muds, they keep coming off easier and easier. Kind of, kind of reminds me of Pokemon, whenever a guy would use Recover. After a while, if they just kept spamming or recovers, your damage will just keep getting bigger for some reason. So even if this guy keeps spamming that that mud, uh, the damage is still there. It will count for the next break, and the mud will come off easier. Actually, for me, it would be better if we had mud right now. That way, my switch act could do more damage thanks to its water element. Although the mud does give him a little physical defense, I think the elemental water element would negate that. Fail. Okay, that's 720. Not not that 1,400 he did. Now I gotcha. Okay. Whoa! <laughs> I can't just I can't believe just how much that saved me. A little more careful about my health right now. Crap. Cat, keep him busy. That's all I'm asking. Crap. I took that second potion by mistake, and uh, the great jack is also here. You go away. I have dung on me. Don't you know that? Uh, what's happening? Sometimes it takes him a while, but in a minute or two he'll leave. Okay, now he's leaving. Oh, he's not. Okay, either you leave or I'm gonna hit you with Dung Bomb. Well, okay, now I hit you. Get out of my way! I wanna waste my sharpness on you. ESP. Yeah, he left. 
Probably should have painted him would have been an option. Let's see we sharpen and nothing else. Not gonna not gonna bother recovering my stamina. No, where does he go? Guess my pain already wore off. He's weak right now, probably going to level three. Okay, not going to level three, so he's going either to area I think one or two, if I'm not mistaken. How can I see the order? I'm bring the map with me. Okay, area four or one. Okay. I keep forgetting those psycho serums. It can actually come kind of quite in handy in these kind of situations. Okay, now. Okay, he, here they are. You're gonna have to excuse me for a little bit. Gonna take care of some things. Okay, already took care of that. Uh, just a couple of guys. Want to talk to me? Okay, now focus number one. Kid, this guy with the dung bomb. That's complete. Job number two. Kill the bear off. Now that head slam is excellent when he no longer has mud because it it doesn't stun you. You can just keep hitting him and it doesn't stagger you, stun you, knock back you, whatever you want to call it. That's a knockback for sure. Not sure where I stopped that combo. Also not sure what, what broke. If I have my yes! I'm gonna do this now or else I'll never have a chance. Blow, blow, blow! Yes. Are you time for thanks my cats are here? This guy is out of stamina. Now's the perfect time to get all my damage in and excellent. It's gonna have gone better right now. Okay, things could have gone worse right now. It could have gone better. Just get away from me. Okay, nearly done here. Oh, great. Now, where did he go? Thank you. There's actually the direction I want to go. Going the wrong way. Whoa! Okay, we're Jaggy again. Running out of dung bombs here. Just how much dung do you want, to be, want me to throw at your face till you decide to leave me alone? Okay. Going for the kill. Fail. Fail. Okay, I'm gonna, ki gonna kill you. Head on. Of course not. Not crazy. This is what I want to do. Just get it a little smaller. It would be just so easy to keep spamming this at his tail. I just love when that happens. I had to do a hit there, or the tail would knock me back. If it isn't up, would have come in handy. Die, die. Oh, great. Okay, time to finish this. Let me just get ready for the final assault. 19 minutes. Going, going. No, not gonna let you sleep. No, not gonna trap you. Well, I did bring trap master. Okay, just which is my one of my last dung bombs. Just gonna hit you. He's gonna do a fake roar. So, oh wait, it was a real roar. So managed to land that hit before. So, I'm happy. Come on, die. Just die already. More roars. Mm. Whoa.
Whoa. Oh! Thank God I just did this. I wasn't really concerned about my health. No, I refuse to die. Even if I have to waste one of my max potions, which I never use. I just want to get this over with. Come on, can you please die? Please, please. Fuck. Okay, this is where it ends. <laughs> okay, I guess it's, this is where he still ends. Wasn't really expecting that, but always a nice, always welcome. It's so funny when you can get breaks without worrying about it. And we're done here! So, everyone, hope you enjoyed this high level Baroth. I'll see you next episode. Woo! Weaver's Stone, now that's rare. Channel here saying goodbye.